Chapter 5, Section 1, Assessing Bone Density as well as Measurement of Width and Height of Bone. In this video session, we're going to utilize two icons, our length measurement icon as well as our profile icon, which will assess the bone quality of where we're going to place our virtual implant. From the 3D software, we'll continue working in our curve window. In this case here, we're going to identify the site to place our virtual implant. In this case here, it's going to be at site number 19, according to US tooth numbers, and site number 36, using the Canadian tooth numbering system itself. To navigate to this area of our 2D pan reconstruction in our sectional window above, simply left click on our vertical line here and drag it across. In this case here, we'll stop when we get to the distal edge of this second premolar, which we can see in sectional number 122. One of the first things we can do is assess the physical distance between the distal edge of the premolar and the mesial edge of the second premolar. To do that, we can verify the physical distance between these sectional lines to determine that distance. By right-clicking on our sectional views, we can verify that our interval is 1 millimeter, which identifies the physical distance between 122 and 123 and so on as a 1 millimeter distance. That being the case, if we scroll with our center wheel of our mouse until we get to the mesial edge of our premolar, we'll see we now are at section number 136, which gives us a 14 millimeter distance between the distal edge of our second premolar and the mesial root then of our second molar itself. Let's go ahead and then navigate to the site where we're going to place our virtual implant. Once I've identified my site, I'll go ahead and double click on the sectional view, expand it in size, and then access the measurement tool located in the upper left hand corner. Left click, and then left click on 2D. In this case here, we'll measure from the ridge down to the superior border of our nerve, which gives us our distance of 9.7 millimeters. We can also utilize the same tool again to measure our bone width, going from the lingual plate to the cortical side of the buccal wall where we also have a dimension here of 9.7 millimeters. If we also want to measure and assess the bone quality where we're going to place our virtual implant, let's delete this measurement here and do a profile measurement instead. I'll right click, select delete, and now I've removed that measurement. We'll navigate to the toolbar and then access and left click on the icon that says profile. From here, we'll do a measurement again, going from the cortical plate to cortical plate. When we do that, a window will then appear giving us the assessment as far as bone quality between these two points. We have our distance in this case here, 9.6 millimeters, which is identified between here and here, and then our profile, which gives us an assessment as far as the bone quality between these two points. This would represent the buccal wall, this would represent the lingual side and our trabecular bone here. Once we've verified and assessed our bone quality using the profile tool, simply left click on OK to close out the window. To access that window again, simply double click on the word profile and you'll see the window will appear again giving us the same information as before. At this point in time, it's encouraged to stop this video and then navigate to the Easy 3 d software to perform the steps to perform measurements using the 2D ruler as well as assessing the bone quality utilizing the profile tool.